ability. What is this distal radio ulnar joint? It is the joint between the distal part of the radius and distal part of the ulna here, isn't it? This is the most important joint that plays a very important role in the pronation and supination which occurs at the forearm. Now, why is it important? The problem with DRUJ injuries is that it is many a time ignored. Why? Most of these DRUJ injuries occur along with other major fractures. I'll give you an example. There could be a, a grossly displaced Coley's fracture and the doctor would be more focused on treating the Coley's fracture and can completely ignore or miss the distal radial ulnar joint injury. Sometimes there could be an isolated ulnar styloid fracture which the doctor may think that okay it's not much of a deal but the patient may have an associated DRUJ instability. Sometimes there could be an Galeasi fracture, there could be an SX Lopresti injury, there could be some kind of an injury which is associated with DRUJ. Uh, instability. But the problem is that if you don't treat DRUJ instability properly, it is going to cause problems. Especially the patient can develop wrist pain and instability and difficulty in doing the proper job. Uh, especially if it occurs in the right hand, it can cause significant functional problems. Now, before we go into the details, we have to understand the anatomy of DRUJ. So, DRUJ is a diarthrodial trichoid synovial joint and it has two components. One is a bony radio ulnar articulation and second is the soft tissue stabilizers. So, this is the radio ulnar articulation here. You have the distal part of the radius and the ulna joining together there. What are the soft tissue stabilizers? You have the capsule of the joint there. Then you have the TFCC which is the triangular fibrocartilage complex. Then you have the distal oblique part of the introscious membrane and two important active stabilizers which are two muscles pronator quadratus and extensor carpi ulnaris. Capsule, TFCC and distal part of the introscious membrane, these three are passive stabilizers. Active stabilizers are pronator quadratus and ECU. Now, let's quickly discuss about distal radio ulnar joint or the articulation. We know the two bones that articulate there, you have the ulna and the radius. So, you have the lower end of ulna here and you have the distal part of the ulna, specifically the sigmoid notch which articulates there. The problem here is that you have the ulna which is quite large 